Here's what you can expect when you run the code in this LabVIEW project. We have a number of VIs under the real-time target. I have RT main, and I have two sub-VIs that are called within this function, sub-VI1 and sub-VI number two. These sub-VIs are communicating via functional global variables. So I'll go ahead and run RT main, and we see that the idle loop count is incrementing, and this simply indicates that the VI is running. We have the fast counter in sub VI1 and the slow counter in sub VI number 2. The slow counter increments when the fast counter reaches 10 and then also enables the reset button, which in turn resets the fast counter back to 0. Let's go ahead and stop RT main. I'm going to take a moment here to display the functional global variables, which are just three individual VIs up here. All right, so we have the functional global variable for the fast counter. We have the operation as either read or write. Similarly for reset and then the all stop functional global variable. We have the data that can be written, and then the data that is read. So we observe the similar behavior as we saw before, except now you can just see some of the details of what's going on with the functional global variables.